Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another concoction today. What gave me the idea to make this, I've never done it before, is Skylar made a dirt cake, which is really like a pudding and cream cheese and butter kind of pie. I don't know why they call it a cake. I will link to that down below and it'll bring you to her video, but the recipe is underneath that. That's on my blog. So if you want to go check that out, you can. When I was with Skylar and we made that uh, dirt cake recipe, it gave me an idea to just try making pudding for my mother. And just with butter and the confectionate sugar, I'm skipping the cream cheese. As much as my mother loves cream cheese, she's not one so much for like um, cheesecake flavored type things. So we're just going to do the butter and confectionate sugar and the whipped topping. And I'm trying to let these things thaw. I'm trying to like you know, uh, mix this a little bit without making it go all flat. I'm just too anxious and just want to get started. And my butter is cold also. When you go look at the regular recipe, it makes a ton of this. And I am cutting it back a lot. I am only going to be using one half of a stick of butter, which is a quarter cup of butter. I'm going to be using a quarter cup of the confectionate sugar. And I'm going to, you know, start with that. And then I'm only going to use, I don't know, a little bit of this, not a lot of it, um, maybe half at most. And then I am going to use the whole box of pudding, but I'm going to only add one and a half cups of milk. So let's just get started by mixing the butter and the confectionate or confectioners or powdered sugar. And since I didn't keep this at room temp for a while, I'm going to just mash it a little bit, soften it up. Now I have my mixer, but gee, I have a feeling there's so little of this that it will just all get stuck in the these things. I suddenly don't know what to call these. I want to call them blades, but that's not. The beaters? Is that what they are? So let's at least add the quarter cup of confectionate sugar in there. So I'm adding a quarter cup of confectionate sugar. And it might be not as messy to just do this by hand. I find it hard to believe that we mixed whipped topping in with butter and cream cheese. I don't remember how that came about, but I seem to remember Skylar just being able to fold it in nicely. I don't know. This looks pretty thick, but I'm going to add some whipped topping. Let's just start with not too much, and this is still very frozen. Let me try to get to the non-frozen parts. I don't think I can fold it in. I'm going to just mash it in. We're just making stuff up as we go. Maybe if I can mash in a little bit, then I can fold in the rest. <laughs> Maybe I can um, use the mixer now just to sm make that smooth. I don't know. Let's try. Not plugged in. I think I might just add more topping and just use the mixer to mix that in instead of just folding it in. Let's see. It might be easier that way. And I don't know. I'm probably using half of an 8-ounce tub. Now we're going to break the rules and not fold. Gotta scrape the side somehow. Like that. Okay, this is coming out pretty cool. Going to do a tiny bit more. Get off my fork, please. We're going to mix that in. Okay, I'm going to uh, put this aside now. And we're going to make the pudding. As for the pudding, I'm using French vanilla. I never know which way I'm supposed to show you. You can use any flavor you want. You could even use chocolate. A buttery chocolate pudding. I think that would be super delish. And I'm just going to add one and a half cups of milk instead of the usual two cups. I have a half cup here, so we're just doing three of these. One, two, and three. 
I'll make the pudding extra thick. And I don't use a hand mixer for pudding. If you over mix it, it becomes more runny. So I'm just going to um, whisk it with a fork. Try to get the lumps out. I offered my mother banana, lemon, or vanilla, and she took vanilla. A little bit lumpy is always okay. I used to love cooked pudding as a kid because I loved that it made a skin on top. That was the best part. Okay, I'm going to let that sit for a minute while I clean up, and then I'll come back and check the um, consistency. Couldn't think of the word. Ooh, see? Getting nice and thick. And I'm going to fold it into this. Somewhere I have a spatula, but a spoon will do. Now, I'm not making the cookie crust. But my mother has some chocolate Grahams, and I think that that will be great if she wants to have some on a, just on a Graham, or we can crumble it up, or she could dip a Graham in it. But I was just doing it to make her a delicious kind of pudding. And this is it. That's all there is to it. So give it a try. Give it a taste. See if you like. It's just really making like a richer pudding. And I'm just going to put that probably into an empty Cool Whip container because we're classy like that around here. I think it'll fit, let's see. Oh, wow. Have to get the spatula. I, I found a baby spatula. <laughs> This is the most difficult part of the whole recipe. It fits. Very anxious for her to try this. And I made a little bit of a mess, but this looks like good shit, doesn't it? I think so. That is it, folks. If you want to give it a try, please do let me know if you like it. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll be back with more soon. Bye! With stuff on my fingers. Bye!